Hello friends, my name is Theo, and today in this exciting Meissner Media tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at emulating a type of photograph that always catches my eyes. It's these really gritty black and white portraiture photographs. So we can make that happen in DaVinci Resolve and get a pretty cool look. So without further ado, let's hop on in and get started. So here we have this uh, quick little thing of this handsome gentleman right here. And you can see it is not very gritty or black and white. So the first thing I will do is I'll just take the lazy way out and I'll bring my saturation to zero. And then I will bring the contrast up. And now it's already looking pretty good. I'm going to bring the pivot just around just so we're getting all this nice sort of fall off right here. And I'm kind of digging that. If you are wanting some more detail over here, we can go ahead and bring our shadows up just a bit. That's looking pretty cool. I dig that. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to bring our mid-tone detail all the way up. And now you can see, you know, we're getting pretty close there. But that's kind of not as sort of overly detailed as this is. So, since this doesn't go up past 100, what we can do is just add another node. Bring our detail up again. And now, we are getting something that looks pretty gritty. Obviously, if you have noisy footage, this isn't going to work as well as clean footage. But this is... You know, a very interesting look to go for, for sure. You know, make sure that you don't do this to a lady because she will probably hit you forever because every pore is a million percent more visible. But I think it looks really cool. I really like this sort of gritty, over-the-top look. And now with this full screen, I see I might even, I might even take it a little bit further. I will add another node, bring her mid-tone detail up even more, and then... To add some icing on the cake, hop over to our Blur and Sharpen tab and just add a little bit of sharpening there. And now that is just painful. I love it. And this is using uh, kind of crappy DSLR footage. So if you're doing this with like nice footage, it turns out even better. But, you know, you don't have to have nice footage. This is just shot on my D5300 uh, when I was out kayaking. So, you know, pretty cool. Anyway... If you like this video, give it a like. If you didn't, give it a dislike. No matter what, leave your feelings down in the comments below. If you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Meese New Media YouTube channel. If you want even more goodness, check out our socials, links for which are down in the description below. If you are a super pro, elite sauce, amazing person, go over to MeeseNewMedia.com slash products and take a look at House Lutz and the all new Bright Lights Light Leak Pack, which is phenomenal, I may say. I use both of those in pretty much every project, so I can personally vouch for them. They are wondertastic. So once again, I've been Theo with Meissner Media. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.